This is how you can make an advanced warning system for your Discord bot using Discord.js version 14, so let's go ahead and get started. So before, I did make a basic warrant system that logs the number of warrants you have, but this is going to be a complete warrant system that logs the number, reason, and the moderator that warned you. Uh, so we can go ahead and actually get started. Keep in mind, we are going to be using MongoDB for this, so go ahead and set that up. If you need help setting up MongoDB, join the server in the description below and we'll be able to get started with that. But just keep in mind that your schema file should look like this. It's going to need to have the guild ID, user ID, user tag, and content. Um, the first three have to be a string and the content has to be an array um, and then you'll be good to go. So just make sure your schema for your warning file looks like this. So I'm going to go to moderation right here. I'm just going to call this warn.js. So this file is going to be what actually creates the warning. So we can start by defining the slash command builder. We can do const slash command builder equals require at discord js slash builders. And then we can actually go ahead and define a few things. So we can do const, we can do permissions bit field, and then we can do embed builder. We can say equals require, and then we'll do discord.js, just like that. We then go ahead and define our warning schema. So we can do const warning schema equals require, and then we can get our warning schema by doing dot dot slash dot dot slash, and then schemas, and then we can do slash warn schema, just like that. Then we can say module.exports equals, we can open this up and we can say data, new slash command builder. One thing I did mess up the spelling here, so just make sure that's required, just like that. Then we can do dot set name, and here we can say warn, and we can do dot set description. Right here we can say this warns a server member. We can do add user option. We can say option, arrow function, option dot set name, and we will say user. We can say dot set description, and we'll say the user you want to warn. And then we can do dot set required and we'll make this true. Then we can come down here and say add string option. We can do option, arrow function, option dot set name, and we will do reason. Then we can do dot set description. And in here we can say this is the reason for warning the user. Just like that. We can do set required. And we will say false. And then we can add a comma here, come down here, say async execute. We'll do interaction. We can then go ahead and just open this up. All right, so now we can go ahead and make a permissions check. So we can do if no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has, and we can say permissions bit field dot flags. For the permission, we can do kick members or something like that. Then we can return await interaction dot reply, and we will just say content. In here, we can say you don't have permission to warn people. Just like that. Then we can do comma, E P H E M E R A L. We'll say true. So we're gonna do const and then we're gonna do options, guild ID, and we'll do user. And we can do equals interaction. So we are basically just getting all of these from the interaction. And we can say const target equals options dot get user. And we will say user. Then we can come down here and say const reason equals options dot get string. Just like that and in here we can say reason and then we can add the pipes and we will do no reason given just like that we can say const user tag equals and then in here we can say target dot username then we can do hashtag and we can open this up in here just make sure you pass in target dot discriminator just like that then we can come down here and do warning schema dot find one we can open this up we can say guild id and we will pass in our guild id and we can say user id and we will get our target.id and then we can say user tag and here we can get our user tag just like that we can then add a comma we can do async error and data and then we can add an error function here and open this up so we're going to say if error then we can throw error just like that if no data then we can open this up and actually create a warning schema so we can do data equals new warning schema just like that we can open this up and we can say guild id and we will say guild id just like that we can say user id and we can say target dot id just like that we can say user tag and we will say user tag and then right here we can say content and we're going to open this up and we're going to open this up as well and here we can say executor id and we'll do user dot id and we can say executor tag just like this and we'll say user dot tag and then we can say reason and we will pass in our reason just like that. Then we can add a comma here and we can add a semicolon here and then we can come below that. And right here, we're gonna say else, we're gonna open this up. We're gonna say const warn content equals, we can open this up. We can go ahead and copy everything we wrote above. We'll just paste that down there. I'm gonna go ahead and fix this formatting just like that. And then we can come down here and do data.content dot push and then we can do warn content just like that. And we're gonna come down here and we're gonna say data.save. 
So now we're going to add a semicolon here, and under that we can make our embeds. So you can do const embed equals new embed builder, just like that. We can say set color, I'm going to say blue, and we can do dot set description. And here we can say white check mark, and we'll say you have been warned in, and then we can pass in our interaction dot guild dot name, just like that. We can do a pipe, and we can say our reason. I'm going to go ahead and bold warned so that it looks a little bit better, just like this. We then go ahead and copy this embed, and we're going to make it again down here. And we're going to call this embed2. We're going to go ahead and delete all of this stuff. We can then open this up and say target dot tag has been warned. And then we can do reason. I'm going to go ahead and bold warn as well down here. So now we can go ahead and actually send this embed. So we can do target.send. We can open this up and say embeds. And then we will do embed. We can do catch error. Open this up. And then we can just return just like that. Then we can say interaction.reply. And we're going to go ahead and say embeds. And we will say embed2 just like that. All right. So now we are actually done with the warn.js. So go ahead and save that. And we can go ahead and copy all of this. And we're going to make a new file. Uh, this time we can go ahead and make it in community. And we can go ahead and say warnings.js. We can then go ahead and paste it in here. We're going to update a few things. So we're going to do warnings. And here we can say this gets uh, members warnings. We can remove the uh, reason right here and we can go ahead and add a comma there. Right here we can say the member you want to check the warns of just like that. We can then go ahead and delete the permissions check from here. We can go ahead and remove reason just like that. We can also remove the user.tag as well. So we're going to go ahead and delete everything right here. And then we can also go ahead and delete everything right here. All right, so in here, we're going to say if error. And then we can just throw the error just like that. We can then say if data. And we can open this up. We're going to come up here and we're going to do const embed equals new embed builder. Just like that. And we can also say const no warns equals new embed builder as well. Now right here we can do embed dot set color and we'll say blue. And then we can come down here and do dot set description. Right here we can say white check mark just like this. And then we can say target dot tag and then we can do this so it says target.tags warnings just like that we can do the backslash n and we can open this up by doing data.content.map we can open this up as well and in here we're going to go ahead and say w and i and then we can do an error function and open this up. We're going to go ahead and add these, open that up as well, and go ahead and go in here. So I'm going to go ahead and bold this, and I'm going to say warning. I can open this up, and I'm going to say I, and then I'm going to do plus one, just like that. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to say warning moderator. In here, we can say w.executor tag, just like that. Then we can say warn reason, just like this. And we're going to go ahead and pass in w.reason, just like that. And then right here, right after that parentheses right there, we can do .join. And then we can do an empty string just like that or with a dash in it. And that's all we have to do. So now we can go ahead and send this. So we can come down here and say interaction reply. And we can open this up saying embeds and our embed just like this. Then we're going to say else. We can open this up. We can do no warns dot set color just like this. And we'll say blue. And we can do dot set description. In here we can say white check mark again just like that we can open this up and say target dot tag then after that we can say has and we can bold zero and then we can say warnings just like that then we can come down here and say interaction dot reply we can do embeds and we can do no warns just like that and that's all we have to do for our warnings command so now we can actually go ahead and write a clear warn command and then we will be done so we're going to go back into our warn.js file we're going to go ahead and copy everything again we'll go to moderation and we're going to go ahead and create a file called clear warn.js we can go ahead and paste all of that code in here so we're going to change this to clear warn just like that we're going to change this to this clears a member's warnings and we can change this to the user you want to clear the warnings of, just like that. We can go ahead and remove the reason right here. And then we can add a comma right here. Then we can go ahead and change this to you don't have permission to clear people's warnings, just like that. We can then go ahead and remove the reason right here as well. Then we can remove the user.tag as well. So now we're going to go ahead and delete everything in here, just like before. We can go ahead and delete all of this stuff as well. And then up here, we're going to do const embed equals new embed builder, just like that. And we can say if error, and then we're going to throw an error. And then we're going to come down here and say if data. We can open this up. We can say await warning schema.find1 and delete. 
just like this we can open it up in here we're going to go ahead and copy everything in here and then we can just go ahead and paste it instead of user tag we can just say target dot tag just like that then we can go ahead and say embed dot set color and you're going to say blue and then we can do dot set description and right here we can say white check mark again then we can open this up and say target dot tag and then we can do this so target dot tags warnings have been cleared just like that. And then we can go ahead and say interaction dot apply. Then we can do embed. Then we can do embed just like that. Then we can go ahead and say else. And we can open this up and we can say interaction dot reply. We'll do content. In here we can say target dot tag has no warnings to be cleared. And then we can do EPH EMURAL and we'll make that true. Before we actually go ahead and restart the bot, I did make a couple mistakes in our warnings.js file. So we're going to go ahead and fix them. So the first thing is for our user tag, we're just going to change this to target.tag just like that. The second one is um, instead of having curly braces here, you're just going to go ahead and remove those. And we can go ahead and actually indent this. And then we can go ahead and remove this space. The last thing that we have to do to fix these errors is we're going to go to clearwarn.js. And we're just going to change this to target.tag as well. After you changed everything in there, we can go ahead and go to our terminal and restart the bot. All right, so now that we're in the Discord server, we can do slash warn, and we're gonna go ahead and warn me. As you can see, it's gonna say that I've been warned for no reason given, and I am gonna get a DM from the bot saying that I have been warned. If we go back to the Discord server, I'm gonna go ahead and check my warnings, and I'm just gonna say me, of course, and it's gonna say that I have one warning. It's gonna say that the warning moderator was me, and it's gonna say that no reason was given. Now we can go ahead and actually try to warn myself again and give me a reason. So if we do me and we give a reason as being it bad or something like that and we go ahead and run warnings again just like this it's gonna say warning to uh moderator me obviously and then being bad now we can go ahead and clear uh the warnings just like this and we're gonna go ahead and clear my warnings so it's gonna say my warnings have been cleared and if we go ahead and run the warnings command and we check me it's gonna say that i have zero warnings so that's how you can code an advanced warning command for your discord.js version 14 but if you need any help be sure to join the discord coding lounge in the description below and i'll be able to help you out along with the other moderators and helpers and with that I will see you guys in the next video.